Hey, got this thing. It's, uh, was gonna end up in the trash, but I decided I'm gonna go ahead and reclaim it. Use some of this to make a neck. Neck. Make it kind of like a cigar box style guitar. This is my last junk drawer guitar that I built. The skateboard. Right here is where the nut is going to go. I've got a couple of old tuners here that I might that I'm going to use. I just need to draw an original style headstock on it. Hmm. I'm only going to make it a two string. Cigar box style guitar. Probably cut the headstock off right there. Done a lot of sanding and cutting on it. And I've got it angled back a little bit. Might not be enough, but I can put a string tree on there if I have to. I'm gonna fix the nut on right there. Cut out a little bit for the nut. So that way it's recessed. And uh, maybe figure out a way to do frets. I might just go fretless because it'd be easier. And uh, where did my tuners go? I'm gonna fix these tuners into place. So, let's get to it. <laughs> Eyeball and everything. I don't even need to measure anything. There we go. It's all tightened on. One's a little tighter than the other, but that's all right. Now, let's get to work on designing that body. All right, so I've uh, made a bridge. This is actually one of the side mounting things for a car stereo. I've used one on, on a Guitar Hero gent stick before. Worked pretty well. Uh, I'm going to use this one on this guitar. Go ahead and mark out where the neck's going to be. I, I've taken two of those boards, glued them together, and the neck is the exact same depth as one of these boards. So I'm not going to go all the way in on it. I'm only going to go in about... Mm, what would be a good depth? Uh, a little more than halfway. A little bit more than halfway. So, about about right there. So. All that's coming out. Router would work good for that. It's pretty good. That's pretty good actually. Might I thought maybe I didn't go quite deep enough, but it looks pretty good actually. It's only going to be two strings, but I am putting a regular six string pickup on there, but I'm going to stagger it so the poles pick up three poles to each string. <laughs>
There's the tailpiece for the strings. I'm gonna put a small bridge right here. Holes routed, it's ready to go for that. Now I'm gonna measure out where the jack's gonna go and the pots. All right, so I've got the output jack spot routed. Drill a hole all the way through, straight across the other side. That's where the pot's going to go. Wire's going to come in right there. Uh, I'm also going to drill a hole at this angle, feed it into the into the the pickup cavity. scrap wood the bridge is a rusted bolt I found on the ground the tailpiece is the locking spring mechanism thing out of the tray that a car stereo slides into and uh, there you go close up on it uh, I fabricated a very ugly clear pick guard there for the it's more of a pickup ring than anything else I used the black plastic jack plate off the Explorer I uh, used some more clear plastic up there for the cavity cover. <clears throat> uh, I put some old acoustic tuners on it that I had. Uh, one of them actually broke. I had to replace the plastic on it. Uh, but they actually seem to work pretty well. And uh, the strings are a D and a G. So, uh, being that it's just got two strings and a D and a G on it, you can only play one song on it, and that's... Yeah, so, uh, you can play one song from Green Day, and that's it. That's what it was built for. Uh, anyway, Jacob doesn't know I built it, so I'm going to take this over to him and surprise him with it, and challenge him to write a song on it other than Wake Me Up When September Ends. So it's uh it's got surprisingly good sustain. I guess that's because uh, uh, the body's almost all the body's all one piece. It's kind of long, and the neck is stuck in the pocket so far down in there. So. It's actually a half decent tone too. tone and it rings out pretty well. Get some sustain. 
guitar <laughs> but you can play it however the hell you want and uh, yeah I just noticed I uh, branded it and then signed it upside down on the back but you can flip it over like that and see it clearly put the date on it man that's actually for what it is that's a surprisingly good tone I don't know what these pickups are these cheap junk drawer pickups that I've been using but they all sound pretty good so Anyway, Jacob doesn't know I've built it, so I'm going to run over there and drive it off to him and surprise him with it, see what he does. We're at Jacob's. He, he doesn't know what's coming. Now I don't. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Element of surprise. <laughs> this is going to be horrible. It's actually not so bad. Not? It holds its tune pretty well. Unlike uh, the other one? Yeah. <laughs> this is ingenious. <laughs> it's completely made out of scrap wood. A literal junk guitar. And, uh, when I was testing it out, it turns out you can only play one song on it. And that's uh, Wake Me Up When September Ends. <laughs> it's going to be horrible. Yeah. So. <laughs> Are these Clusons? No, they're worse. They're generic. Yeah. <laughs> For those who don't know, I hate Clusons. Yeah. These are actually, they're actually off an acoustic <clears throat> that I replaced them, that I upgraded the tuners on. Oh yeah, they look like they're for a nylon string? Uh, probably. But they work for this. Actually, they, they're old, so the, I had another one on there and it broke off, so I just replaced that handle thing. It's basically a slide guitar, too, so. <laughs> And I was going to put some strap locks on it, but then I was like, why? Yeah, there's really no reason. <laughs> I just, it just needs a knob. That's about it. So what would I have to record on this? Whatever the hell you want. <laughs> it's uh, like the, the other ones are gent sticks. This is a blue stick. A <laughs> blue stick? Because it's tuned too high to, to... To gent. Yeah. It doesn't gent. I could do that with the whammy pedal. <laughs> <laughs> So now you got to figure out what to do with it. <laughs> it's surprising. It's got some really good sustain because I guess the neck's so far into the body. Like yeah. it just, it just rings on and on. And there's no truss rod. So what is it made out of? Just, Yellow pine, something. I found this thing in my backyard that I was going to dump when we did the, the, the bulky item pickup. Like a one by like two or something. Yeah. Well, I sanded it down a lot. It was a bunch of two by fours that were cut in half, which is why I glued them back together like that. <laughs> It'll work. Yeah. <laughs>